now with that Maryland couple under fire for their YouTube videos that have received millions of views and sparked outrage, child abuse accusations, and an official investigation. Now they're speaking exclusively to ABC, apologizing and revealing the reason they made them. And TJ Holmes, you sat down with the fam family, TJ? I, I did, Robin, and many of us saw these videos and they are disturbing to watch. And we all had the same question after seeing them. What is wrong with these people? Well, they say nothing is wrong with them. Now they admit to me that yes, what you see in those videos looks like abuse, but they also say we fell for some Oscar worthy performances by their kids. The videos are shocking. Showing parents Heather and Mike Martin My pranking and at times no, screaming no, profanities no, at their crying no, children. No, He's no, not going to knock the out of you. Racking up millions of views, making the entire family YouTube stars, and sparking video. widespread criticism and allegations of abuse. Five. You think the world gives a damn you're crying right now? You gotta worry about yourself. But the Martins now want the world to see them differently. We love our kids. They're the most important thing in the world to us. <laughs> And we made poor parenting choices by portraying ourselves this way, but we are not bad people. The Martins are now trying to explain themselves. I am ashamed. This just, it started out as family fun. It started with me and my kids. We were just, for them, it was just about making a video. They would get my excited when they would get a lot of views and, you know, it was more for shock value. The characters that you see it. on our YouTube channel is not a reflection of who we are. Yeah. It's not. It's a character. It was a show. A bad show, but it was a show. Is that a show that children should not be involved in? They shouldn't. You say characters. What are we to believe was real and wasn't real in those videos? We did do pranks, but most of the time the kids knew about them. They were planned. Um, some stuff is real, you know, some stuff was acted out, scripted. You're not suggesting that your kids and the crying and the sobbing and that emotion we see was not real, are you? Um, not every single time. Some of it was acted. Some of it was. <laughs> Can you stop? The Martins claim some of their kids' emotions are exaggerated, all for the sake of making more dramatic videos and getting more views. Mike says deep down, he just thought becoming a celebrity would make his kids proud. You got dads out there that are lawyers, and I'm not no lawyer. You got dads out there that are doctors. I can't do that. I felt like I'm not being the dad that they deserve. I'm, I'm, I'm no hero to them. But then starting YouTube and seeing how happy these kids get when they get these views. I'm a dad, and it hurt my gut to hear you say what you just said. Do you really think your kids, you weren't a hero to your kids before this? I didn't feel like it. I, I, I swear to God, I didn't feel like it. I felt like... You know, I was a stay-at-home dad. The family is now in counseling, but the children say they miss making the videos. Well, we'd be like, Dad, when are we making the next video? You know, <laughs> when are we going to make the next video? It was just something that I really look forward to. The Martin kids hope to make a comeback with more tasteful videos in the future. All right, police are now investigating to see if something criminal is taking place based on those videos. And yes, the family was monetizing this. They didn't want to get into how much money they made, but they admit they were able to provide now some things for the kids they hadn't had before. And they also say they even set up college funds for the kids. So now that is gone. But you all, I'm, I'm watching you all's reactions to this. Like, why, why, why? This was a perfect storm. They got instant fame. They got money that came quickly as well, and they didn't know how to handle it. So they created a beast with some of these videos. The ones just showing them as a happy family home don't get that many views. Mm -hmm. But when they push the envelope, when they use the profanity, when they, when they have fights and arguments, they see those get those clicks, wow. and they kept trying to push the envelope, and they lost their way. See, that's part of the story, too. It's not just this family, but the fact the that people, people, people are watching. Yeah. Are watching and and, and watching. the more upsetting the video, the more popular it is. Yeah, that's 100% that is... the case, and they knew it, and they kept pushing the envelope. Well, you don't do it at the expense of your kids. That's the right. issue. All right, TJ, thanks so much.